Okay, here's another way to make the high voltage to run these uh, electrostatic devices. You take a uh, disposable flash clamor circuit and just use the oscillator part of it that puts out several hundred volts. You go through a Cockroft Walton voltage multiplier uh, into a high voltage capacitor, builds up a potential, and runs the motor. Uh, this is the circuit that I'm using right here. Uh, you'll have to do some research on your own. I'm not going to go into how I did this. It's very dangerous. Be very careful with this high voltage built up in that capacitor. Uh, you just get one of these cameras, take the circuit board out of it, rewire it for just the oscillator, take the flash part out, and you make this driver for the Cockcroft Walton voltage multiplier. Let me turn it on. I'll show you how this works. I'm just going to feed the high voltage, which is about three or four hundred volts, into this thing here. It's going to build up in that, and that's going to start that up. You notice there's no return path. That's going on one wire. I've got a little bell system set up here. I'm going to take this off now. Let's turn it off so I don't shock myself. Now I'm going to start the bell up here. You notice the motor speeds up. Now how this is working, it's very, very interesting. This is the high voltage scenario. There is actually a return path through the paper. And I have a wire coming off the board down to that paper. So the high voltage is actually making its way all the way through and back with the paper. And this is something that I've been warned about building my electrostatic devices out of wood because when you get the high voltage built up, that will go right through the wood. And here's an example of how it works. And uh, this little setup here runs for about 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes on that the capacitor, which is a 2500 um, volt, 560 picofarad cap. Now this little driver, we uh, we made a bunch of these uh, setups years ago to make lights out of them. And you can take this little driver and you can make a fluorescent light out of it. And a bunch of us did this years ago. But the problem is it's drawn about 300 milliamps out of that AA battery. So even though it's just a AA battery, it's still taking quite a bit of juice to do that. But I tell you, it works really, really good on this setup here because you don't have to run it for very long. You can charge up that capacitor in a few seconds off that and do it many, many, many times to run your experiments. And of course, if you string that chain out further, you keep up in the voltage, but it gets more and more dangerous. So like I say, you'd have to be really, really careful with this. Uh, let me discharge it and I'll show you what I mean. That's a pretty big jolt, folks and it'll knock you for a loop. So anyway, if you build one of these, uh, just be careful. And uh, if you want to know how to build one, do some research on your own. I'm not going to do a how-to on how to do this. Thanks for watching.